Cuddly Dudley by Jez Albero. This is a story of a penguin and his name is Dudley. Dudley loved to play. He loved to play jumping, diving and splashing. But most of all, Dudley loved to play all by himself. The trouble was, Dudley was such a lovely, cuddly penguin that whenever his brothers and sisters found him on his own, they just couldn't resist having a huddle and a waddle and a cuddle with him. Go away, Dudley would say. Leave me alone. We can't, came the reply. You are just too cuddly, Dudley. I'm fed up with all your huddling and waddling and cuddling, said Dudley one day. I'm going to find a place where I can play all by myself. So he waddled and he toddled for many, many a miles until, quite by chance, he found a little wooden house that looked perfect for a penguin. And it seemed to be empty. At last! A house of my own where I can jump around all day without being disturbed. And just then came a rap tap tap at the little wooden door. It's the two of us, said Dudley's sisters. We followed your waddle prince. Can we come in? No, you certainly can't, said Dudley. I'm very busy and I don't want to be disturbed. So please go away. And he shut the little wooden door and was alone once more. At last, said Dudley, a house of my own where I can splash without being. And just then came a rap tap tap on the little wooden door. It's us, said his brothers and sisters. We followed your waddle print. Can we come in? No, you certainly can't, said Dudley. I don't want to be huddled and waddled and cuddled. So for the very last time, stop following me. He slammed the little wooden door and was alone once more. At last, said Dudley, a house of my own. Bang, bang, bang went the little wooden door. That does it, he said. When I catch those penguins, I'll... <gasps> but it wasn't the penguins at the little wooden door. It was a great big man. My word, said the great big man. What an adorable little penguin. Give me a cuddle. But Dudley ran and he ran and he ran and he ran as fast as he could and decided to head back home. But which way was home? There was snow all around and he couldn't find his way home. He was completely lost. And for now, for the first time, he was lonely. There was nobody around. No brothers and no sisters, no friends. He climbed a hill to get a better view. And at the top, he saw an enormous orange moon with hundreds and hundreds of sparkling stars huddled all around. Excuse me, said a penguin from the foot of the hill. Have you finished being alone yet? We wondered that now that you're back, if you wouldn't mind, whether we could. It's just that you're so... Cuddly, shouted Dudley and he 
bounced down the hill as fast as he could and then Dudley and all of his brothers and sisters had the best huddling and waddling and cuddling session they ever had.